Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Windows 7 computer to Windows 10 for free. I know. Hey, but first take a moment and subscribe to our how-to channel. Each week we have a video over a range of topics, including phones, software, computers, and now smart home products. <laughs> I know, we're getting pretty fancy pants here. Okay, look, so you may have heard that Microsoft has officially ended support for Windows 7. This means they want you to upgrade to Windows 10. It'll make your computer more secure and safer and even maybe faster to use. If you have an older PC or laptop running Windows 7, you really have two options. The first is you can go to Microsoft's website and buy Windows 10 Home Edition for $139. The second option is you can do what we did and get a free upgrade offer from Microsoft. Now, technically the offer we used expired in 2016, but we were able to use it now at the time of this video, which is 2020. I don't know what happened, but it worked. So here's what I wanna do. The first is I wanna walk you through an overview of the process. The second, I'll take you step by step how to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. And last, I'm gonna share with you some frustrating moments that we had and how you can overcome them. So here's the overview. You're running a PC with Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Home or Pro Edition that is licensed and activated. Next, you're gonna to go to Microsoft's website and download the Windows 10 installation tool. Then you're gonna let it upgrade and bam, you're done. <laughs> if only it was that simple. It took us like four days, four hours and 22 minutes, give or take. So here's how to install Windows 10 for free, step by step. Now, before you do a single thing, you have to have space to install it. So you need anywhere from 20 to 40 gigabytes of hard drive space. Now, the reason there's a range depends really on what edition of Windows you have on your computer. Uh, by the way, we had some trouble finding hard drive space on our Windows 7 machine. Look, we're gonna explain how we overcame that and how we're able to free up over 200 gigabytes of space, but seriously. So, let's jump in. Start up by going to the Download Windows 10 website. Don't worry about looking for the link. We got the link in the description. You're welcome. Next, click the blue Download Tool Now button, then click Run. You'll see the Getting a Few Things Ready window appear. Read the applicable notices and license terms, then hit Agree. After which, the What Do You Want To Do window will appear. I chose the Upgrade This PC Now button, but if you want, you could actually install Windows 10 on a thumb drive and use that as an installation disk. Once you choose, press the Next button. Our download took about six minutes, which is just enough time to listen to the 1988 song, Teenage Riot by the band Sonic Youth. The nearly seven minute song off the double LP Daydream Nation is according to the site Diffuser, an anti-anthem against baby boomer nostalgia and 80s Reaganized America. What, it's almost done? Great. The next step is the verifying your download window, which is followed by the creating your Windows 10 media window you'll get a message stating that the setup is cleaning up before it closes. Next, you'll see a preparing progress window, after which you'll see the getting updates window pop right back up. When the upgrade is complete, a Windows setup window might prompt you to enter your Windows product key. However, it might not as well. And <laughs> this is where we ran into some snags, but I'll explain how we overcame them in just a moment. After the key is entered, the setup tool would check for updates and then a ready to install window will appear, showing that you're installing Windows 10 and keeping your personal files and apps. When you're ready, press the install button. You'll see the infamous blue screen installing Windows 10 after which your computer will restart and install updates. The process took us about an hour, which is just enough time to watch an episode of the late 80s, early 90s sci-fi dramedy Quantum Leap, starring Scott Bakula as Dr. Sam Beckett, who temporarily leaps through time, taking other people's places to correct historical mistakes. What, it's done? So here are the problems we ran into. And the first was actually before we did anything, our Windows 7 computer had no space on the hard drive. This was odd since there wasn't a single video, photo, or song on our hard drive, and we couldn't figure out what was taking up space. So here's what we did. Ran cleanup disk, uninstalled programs, defragmented the drive, 
ran a scan disk check, started deleting files in the Windows folder, but ultimately what worked was finding a folder named temp and deleting it. I don't know what was inside that folder, but when we removed it, it opened up over 200 plus gigabytes. We'll never know what was in there. The next problem we ran into was the product key. On our Windows 7 computer, even though we had a license, it was never officially activated. All right, so we had to go into the control panel, system and security, and finally the system folder, and use the product key found on a sticker that was on the back of the computer. We changed the product key, which activated our copy of Windows 7. Then after a restart, we were able to use the same activated product key in the Windows 10 prompt. Now that we are officially upgraded, we have Windows 10 running on our 11-year-old Dell computer. Oh, sorry, you're uh, really old. <laughs> Still running? You know, actually, one thing that doesn't work with the Windows 10, Windows 10 does not support serialized ports, so no more serialized keyboard and serialized mouse. Goodbye. So that's our video. If you have any questions about installing Windows 10 on your computer, please throw those in the comments. Also, if you've been through the process of upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and you have any tips or tricks, throw those in the comments as well. And if you like our video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut. All right, let's use some Windows 10. Problem is I don't have a keyboard or mouse, so I can just kind of look at the monitor here. Yep, I can put the menu on. Menu? No menu. Menu? No menu. Menu?